here is 812 Motley Road. This is the front yard, all fenced in. Here's the house. And then over there where I'm parked at, it's another fenced in area. So you can have horses out here, anything you want if you're out in the country. That's another uh, area over there. But all this is fenced in over here. So we'll take a look on the inside. Come in the front door, you already got recessed lights. To the left, formal family room. And to the right, you have the staircase going upstairs. We'll go straight ahead. Double doors into the kitchen. Pantry. Let's see. Got a pantry with the hot water heater inside here. And that's part of the AC unit in here as well. Kitchen's definitely big. Of course, it's a full gut job. Take down the uh, red hot chili peppers throughout the house. I have an eating kitchen here. I would take that peninsula out and make this one big eating kitchen area here. Looks, I would take that out like they had a some type of heater inside the house. Coming down here. To these French doors is a pool. We'll go out there later on. To here looks like another addition to the house. Breaker box. There's one of them. Looks to be fairly new. Recess lighting. Doors to a little private deck. This might be the master bedroom or one of the master bedrooms, very large, it's probably 30 by 30. You got three steps down, lots of recessed lights, very bright in here, another view. Yeah, I guess this was a master bedroom. There we go. Uh, throw all this tile, new vanity. I'd probably reconfigure this. I don't think you need a huge jacuzzi tub in here. Put a nice shower over here. They also have, here's another view. Um, a bidet, toilet. On this side, I have another shower and sink with a pretty big walk-in closet another ac unit and there's another toilet on this side so you got two toilets three sinks a tub and a bidet I would just take the whole wall out and reconfigure this whole bathroom. Probably make the closet a lot bigger. because You don't need a 20 foot bathroom in my opinion. And then you also have French doors to the pool with the slide out there. We're coming back across. 
into the kitchen. This door over here goes to the two car garage where the garage is detached. You do have a pantry in here. Another pantry here. It looks like a half bath here. And then circle back around. I guess this is like a office on the first floor. And the office on the first floor, this is off the main front door. So this would be good for an office. It has a door, so it could be a small bedroom, but an office on the first floor would be great. Back to the front door. And there is a dip in the floor right here. Let's take a look upstairs. I believe this one's seven bedrooms. So here's a here's bedroom one with the bay window. And you do have a closet here and a half bath in this bedroom, which is perfectly fine. Across the hall. Almost an identical, identical bedroom with two closets. Down the hall, we have a full bathroom here. A larger bedroom back here and this bedroom has some built-ins over here closet there and has two sinks and it's a full bathroom and there's another door behind this door for another closet and across the hall is the upstairs laundry room which is you can put one up or put one down or you can gut this and make this into another bedroom you have a closet here washer and dryer would go there And then, well, maybe not, because this hallway goes to the bonus room over the garage. Here's this another view up here. So a big laundry room connects to, this is the room over the garage. So to the right, we have a bedroom here with a linen closet and then straight forward it's a little closet in the hallway another little room here with the closet And you do have a full bathroom here. It's a big house, so it's it's a lot. Another room here with a closet. And these all these rooms are about ten by ten, so they're still good for a bedroom for a kid. And then we go back downstairs here. This 
Could be like another bedroom or an office. And right now I'm not sure where I'm at. Because this is detached. So here's another kitchenette. This is like an in-law suite on this side. With a full bathroom here. And you got storage. Separate hot water heater. So this is the in-law suite separate from the house. Closet here. Panel. And this would be like a small living room here. Let me go back around. There's doors that go outside, but I don't know where exactly they go. So I'm going to walk back around through the house. To the backyard. I mean, the, the lawn looks to be in good condition as if they were they were probably using this in the last two, three years. A little pool house. Yeah, but this, this is a foreclosure. So that whole process is, even when it hits the market, though, they still have a year to pay for it. Um, once it hits pre-foreclosure, correct? Yeah, once, oh, if it's in pre-foreclosure, 